of the line A and B okay now when the point sorry now when the point A and B is rotated in the horizontal plane then the horizontal plane that is A, A and B which is situated at any angle phi will be below the XY line in case number phi the line inclined to both horizontal plane and vertical plane so that it makes the angle of inclination with both the horizontal plane and vertical plane as we can see in the figure it is inclined to the vertical plane also and same it is inclined to the horizontal plane also now we will consider the front view of the line AB and it is projection will be situated will be applied on the vertical plane and its angle will be alpha so it is the projection of of the front view which is denoted by angle alpha and we will consider the projection of the top from the top view it is projected on the horizontal plane and the angle will be beta it is a situation without line AB means the projection of the line AB in the front view and the top view and it is the orthographic projection orthographic presentation of the line AB when it is inclined to both horizontal plane and vertical plane we can see that in the horizontal in the front view which is situated in the vertical plane the line A dash and B dash will make an angle alpha and when the horizontal plane is rotated in the 90 degree clockwise direction the angle will be beta and and the line projection of line AB that is small AB will be situated below the XY line okay it is the most important diagram which denotes the graphical representation among all the points or the pair which are considered as a parameters on the projection of the line first of all as we can see in the figure the line a dash and b1 dash it is said to be as the true length which makes an angle of theta so the angle theta is the angle of true length with respect to the horizontal plane same we will consider below the xy line the a the line a and b1 which we, uh, it is said to be as the true length and it makes an angle phi with respect to the vertical plane now the angle alpha it is an angle of the front view which will make an angle with the xy line and the angle beta is the angle of the top view which will make an angle with the xy line a dash one dash it is the length of the top view and which is situated on the which is situated above xy line and the line a1 is said to be as the length of front view which is situated below the xy line now we will consider the pro some problems of the projection of the line the first problem the first problem gives the line ab is 75 mm long so the true length of the line AB is given as 75 mm long and it is inclined at 30 degree and 40 degree with the horizontal plane and vertical plane respectively. The line end A is 12 mm above HP and 10 mm in front of VP. So the position of the point is given as 12 mm above HP and 10 mm in front of VP. We have to consider the projection we have to draw the projection of the line AB first of all in the start of example we have to draw the XY line which is horizontal and we have to draw the position of the point A the position of the point A will be given from the question as the end A is 12 mm above HP means the point a dash will be situated above xy line and the distance will be 12 mm above the xy line in the second case the point a is situated at 10 mm in front of vp that is the point a will be situated below the xy line which is the 
10 mm in distance from the xy line we will draw the horizontal projection from point a dash and a okay now the angle theta which is the angle with the horizontal plane which is given in the question and it is 30 degree we have to take the angle 30 degree from the horizontal plane that is angle theta and draw the top uh, and we have to draw the true length the true length of the line ab is given as 75 mm in the given question and the true length will be denoted as end point a dash and b1 dash as shown in the figure in the same case we will take an angle phi that is an angle with the horizontal plane which is given as 40 degree and we will draw the true length as 75 mm and we, and we will denote the line of the true length as A and B1 we, ok now the locus of the point will be taken from B1 dash and B1 respectively as shown in the figure and the vertical line will be drawn from the B1 to the upward direction up to the projection of A dash now it is the length of the front view which is A1 now take the distance A dash up to the vertical line point in the uh, protector or in the compass and take the center at A, as A dash and take the radius up to the locus of the B1 so we will get the point B1 dash which is the intersection point of an arc and the locus of the point B1 join the point B1 dash and A dash which will be the projection of the front view we have to measure the length of the front view and it is the projection of the front view in the same now same procedure we will extend the vertical line in the downward direction from the point B dash and extend up to the locus of line of point B1 and we will take point uh, consider the intersection point as point B join the line AB join the point AB and it will be the projection of the top view we will consider example number 2 ok here in this case the line AB is 75 mm long and makes an angle 45 degree inclination with the vertical plane while its front view makes angle 55 degree the location of the point is given a point A is 10 mm above HP and 15 mm in front of VP if the line is in first quadrant draw its projection and find its inclination with the horizontal plane in this case the true length is given as 75 mm and its inclination with the VP is given as 45 degree here the projection the degree of the projection from the front view is given as 55 degree so first of all we will draw the horizontal XY line and take the position of point A that is the end A is 10 mm above HP so the point the, the projection of end A in the HP will be above the XY line it is denoted by A dash and it is in the distance of 10 mm above the XY line and the point A is situated at 15 mm in front of vertical plane so that it will be below the XY line at a distance of 15 mm take the projections from the point A dash and A and here the 45 degree with inclination with the vertical plane is given so that in the draw angle phi equal to 45 degree from point A and take the true length as 75 mm from A to B1 as shown in figure take the 55 degree angle which is the angle of the front view and extend the line here B1 is we draw the horizontal line from the B1 and it will be the 
locus of B. Take the vertical line in the upward direction up to point point uh, sorry up to the projection of the A and it will be the point 1 the A1 will be the length of the front view extend the line B1 and 1 up to the projection of A dash take the distance of A dash up to the intersection point of of the line B1 in the compass and take the center point as A dash and make an arc up to the intersection point of the line of the front view that is which is kept as a 55 degree angle from the XY line. The intersection point of the line A of the front view line and the arc is B dash. So we'll ca we can so we will get the projection of the front view. Now extend the line, extend the point in the downward direction up to the locus of the point B1. Denote the intersection point as point B. Extend the line of point A and B and it will be the projection line of the top view. Here the projection of the B dash will be the locus of B1 and the projection of the B1 will be the locus of B. Here we will get we will also get the true length of the line A dash in the horizontal A dash and B1 dash in the with respect to the horizontal plane just by doing the same procedure as by taking the length of the front uh, length of the projection of the top view that is A and B Send, take the center point as A, extend the point, extend the arc up to the projection of A and we have to draw the line in the vertical upward direction up to the locus of B1 so that we can able to get the point B1 dash in the same position and we will get the true length of the A dash and B1 dash with respect to the horizontal plane. Now we will consider the third example. The third example is also the same. The front view of the line AB is 50 degree. It is inclined at XY line and it measures 55 mm long from the vertical, vertical line. Its true length is 60 degree which is inclined on the XY line. The end A is 10 mm above HP and 15 mm in front of VP. We have to draw its projection, true length and inclination with horizontal plane and vertical plane. It is the XY line. We will draw the line point A, which is 10 mm above HP. It is situated. It is located as A dash. And point A, which is in front of 15 degree, which is denoted as A. We have to draw the horizontal horizontal projection line from A dash and A. It is the 50 degree angle. That is the front view of the line AB, which is denoted as a dash B dash which measures the 55 mm it is the distance of 55 mm long from the XY line draw the horizontal projection from the B dash take the vertical direct take the line in the vertical direction from the B dash in the downward direction take a uh, take the line a B 60 degree in the downward direction which is inclined to the XY line and it is the line of the top view that is the angle of inclination take the horizontal line from the point B which is a projection of B okay now take the distance A dash and B dash and take in the uh, uh, in the compass and take the center point as A dash make an arc take an arc up to the projection of A dash now extend the line in the downward direction up to the projection of A and the line A the vertical line will intersect with the projection of the B and it is named as B1 so this line it is said to be as the true length which is the line of A and B1 and we, we will do the same procedure 
to draw the true length of A, A dash and B dash. The true length with respect to the horizontal plane that is A dash and B1 dash which is, in, uh, which is the in, in angle of inclination of the horizontal plane it is denoted by theta and the true length of A and B which is respect to the vertical plane is denoted by phi so that we can able to draw the projection of the front view and top view inclination with the horizontal plane and vertical plane and also the angle of projections of the top view and front view by the projection of point and line now we will see the example number four in this case the line is 75 mm long its front view and the end point a sorry the end point of a is given as 10 mm above hp 15 mm in front of vp so there first of all we will draw its location of a dash and b dash which we want the above xy line and below xy line now we will it is in this question it is given as its front view and top view are 15 mm and 60 mm long that is the a dash and 1 dash will be the length of the top view and a and 1 will be the length of the front view and we will see this example we will continue this example in the further lecture thank you